Welcome to Pots, Pans, and Pioneers. Today I'm going to be making a ham and potato chowder. I've got some olive oil in a saucepan and it's heating up. I've got it on about medium high heat. It's about a probably a couple tablespoons full of olive oil. You could use butter if you wanted to. I've got a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic. I'm also going to use some pre-chopped ham. It's eight ounces of ham. And this is a four quart saucepan. Or two quart. It's a two quart. Okay, we're going to get the ham in there. Just trying to grab a spoon. Okay, we're going to get the ham warmed through while we add our seasonings. Got some dried dehydrated onion, but you could use fresh onion. Maybe a fourth a cup, half a cup of onion, depending on how much you like onions. Got some thyme. And I didn't have enough time, so I'm going to need to open up another bottle of fresh thyme. This is some Creole seasoning. Sprinkle in there. Gonna add a little uh, broth base and seasoning. It's just chicken broth seasoning. You can find that in your local grocery store. It's a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon, or you can use a chicken bouillon cube. Now we're gonna add a little black pepper. Give that a stir. It's heating up. Okay, I've opened up some new thyme just to make sure I have enough in there. Thyme really enhances the flavor of the ham. Gives it a real hearty flavor. We're going to add a little bit of flour, a couple tablespoons of flour, to make our roux to get our chowder thick. And then I got messy on the stove. I'm not a messy cook, so I'll probably went to grab a paper towel to clean it up. Yep. Then what you want to do after that is add some filtered or distilled water. I don't usually add tap water while I'm cooking but it's probably a cup and a half of uh, filtered water. And that, that really is your base right there. Then we're going to add uh, two cups of whole milk. And I'm just, I'm using organic because that's what I buy. And then, uh, 
this will really make it creamy. You could use 2% if you wanted, but I would add a little bit more flour to thicken it up. And then we have some heavy whipping cream. We're going to add a half a cup of that. And that really gives it body. Then we're going to want to raise up the temperature to get it uh, almost to a boil. And then we'll turn the stove down to medium and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. But first, let's add our potatoes. I'm using hash browns, frozen hash browns. And this is just an easy, quick way to do that. So uh, I think the southern style, yeah, the southern style is what I use, the chopped potatoes. It makes everything go faster. It's already done. And I add probably two, two and a half cups of the hash browns. You could use shredded as well. There we go. And again, you just want to bring this up to a boil because you want your potatoes obviously to thaw and cook through and... Uh, you want to get all the seasoning in there. So give it a little stir. And then we'll let it cook. Oh, we'll add just a little bit of salt because there's potatoes in there. They absorb a lot of salt. And then we'll let that cook 15 to 20 minutes. And then we'll serve it up. Okay, here's the soup all finished. And this is potato and ham chowder. I hope you'll try this recipe and join us again next time. Have a great day, everybody.